Tsukioka Yoshitoshi was a Japanese printmaker. Yoshitoshi has widely been recognized as the last great master of the Yukioi genre of woodblock printing and painting. He is also regarded as one of the form's greatest innovators. In this video, I will explain Yoshitoshi Tsukioka in detail. His career spanned two eras, the last years of Edo period Japan, and the first years of modern Japan following the Meiji Restoration. Like many Japanese, Yoshitoshi was interested in new things from the rest of the world. But over time he became increasingly concerned with the loss of many aspects of traditional Japanese culture, among them traditional woodblock printing. By the end of his career, Yoshitoshi was in an almost single-handed struggle against time and technology. As he worked on in the old manner, Japan was adopting Western mass reproduction methods like photography and lithography. Nonetheless, in a Japan that was turning away from its own past, he almost single-handedly managed to push the traditional Japanese woodblock print to a new level. Before it effectively died with him, his reputation has only continued to grow, both in the West and among younger Japanese. And he is now almost universally recognized as the greatest Japanese artist of his era. Yoshitoshi was born in the Shimbashi district of Old Edo in 1839. His father was a wealthy merchant who had bought his way into samurai status. At the age of three years, Yoshitoshi left home to live with his uncle, a pharmacist with no son, who was very fond of his nephew. At the age of five, he became interested in art and started to take lessons from his uncle. In 1850, when he was 11 years old, Yoshitoshi was apprenticed to Otagawa Kuniyoshi, one of the great masters of the Japanese woodblock print. Kuniyoshi gave his apprentice the new artist's name, Yoshitoshi, denoting lineage in the Utagawa school, although he was not seen as Kuniyoshi's successor during his lifetime. He is now recognized as the most important pupil of Kuniyoshi. During his training, Yoshitoshi concentrated on refining his draftsmanship skills and copying his mentor's sketches. Kuniyoshi emphasized drawing from real life, which was unusual in Japanese training, because the artist's goal was to communicate the essence of the subject matter, rather than to furnish a literal representation of it. Yoshitoshi also learned the elements of Western drawing techniques and perspective through studying Kuniyoshi's collection of foreign prints and engravings. Yoshitoshi's first print appeared in 1853, but nothing else appeared for many years, perhaps as a result of the illness of his master Kuniyoshi during his last years. Although his life was hard after Kuniyoshi's death in 1861, he did manage to produce some work. Forty-four prints of his being known from 1862. In the next two years he had 63 of his designs, mostly kabuki prints, published. He also contributed designs to the 1863 Takedo series, by Utagawa school artists organized under the auspices of Kanasada. Many of Yoshitoshi's prints of the 1860s are depictions of graphic violence and death. These themes were partly inspired by the death of Yoshitoshi's father in 1863 and by the lawlessness and violence of the Japan surrounding him, which was simultaneously experiencing the breakdown of the feudal system imposed by the Tokugawa shogunate, as well as the effect of contact with Westerners. In late 1863, Yoshitoshi began making violent sketches, eventually incorporated into battle prints, designed in a bloody and extravagant style. 
The public enjoyed these prints and Yoshitoshi began to move up in the ranks of Yukioe artists in Edo. With the country at war, Yoshitoshi's images allowed those who were not directly involved in the fighting to experience it vicariously through his designs. The public was attracted to Yoshitoshi's work, not only for his superior composition and draftsmanship, but also his passion and intense involvement with his subject matter. Besides the demands of woodblock print publishers and consumers, Yoshitoshi was also trying to exorcise the demons of horror that he and his fellow countrymen were experiencing. Between 1866 and 1868 Yoshitoshi created disturbing images. Notably in the series Eimei Naijuhashuku, 28 Famous Murders with Verse. These prints show killings in very graphic detail, such as decapitations of women with bloody handprints on their robes. By 1869, Yoshitoshi was regarded as one of the best woodblock artists in Japan. However, shortly thereafter, he ceased to receive commissions, perhaps because the public were tired of scenes of violence. By 1871, Yoshitoshi became severely depressed, and his personal life became one of great turmoil, which was to continue sporadically until his death. He lived in appalling conditions with his devoted mistress, Akoto, who sold off her clothes and possessions to support him. At one point, they were reduced to burning the floorboards from the house for warmth. It is said that in 1872 he suffered a complete mental breakdown. After being shocked by the lack of popularity of his recent designs. In the following year his fortunes turned when his mood improved and he started to produce more prints. Newspapers sprung up in the modernization drive, and Yoshitoshi was recruited to produce News Nishiki. These were woodblock prints, designed as full-page illustrations to accompany articles, usually on lurid and sensationalized subjects such as true crime stories. Yoshitoshi's financial condition was still precarious. However, and in 1876, his mistress Akoto, in a gesture of devotion, sold herself to a brothel to help him. With the Satsuma Rebellion of 1877, in which the old feudal order made one last attempt to stop the new Japan, newspaper circulation soared and woodblock artists were in demand, with Yoshitoshi earning much attention. In late 1877, he took up with a new mistress, the geisha oraku like Akoto. She sold her clothes and possessions to support him, and when they separated after a year, she too hired herself out to a brothel. Yoshitoshi's works gave him more public recognition, and the money was a help. But it was not until 1882 that he was secure. In 1883, Yoshitoshi published Fujiwara no Yasumasa playing the flute and Yukioe, based on an original drawing which was exhibited at the previous year's exhibition of Japanese paintings. This work is based on Setsua stories written in Kanjaku Monogatari Shu and Uji Shui Monogatari, which were compiled between the 12th and 13th centuries and depicts a bandit, Hakamadare, trying to attack Fujiwara no Yasumasa, who is playing the flute but being unable to move because of Yasumasa's silent pressure. This work is regarded as one of Yoshitoshi's best. Yoshitoshi's notorious, yet compelling, The Lonely House on Adaki Moor appeared in 1885. This work depicts the legend of Kiho in Kurozuka written in Shui Wakashu, which was compiled in the 11th century, and Kurozuka is also performed in No, Kabuki and Jorori. This macabre work is iconic in its own right.
and influential in the history of modern Kinbaku, in that Ito. Sio was fascinated by Yoshitoshi's accurate depiction of upside-down suspension. His last years were among his most productive, with his great series 100 Aspects of the Moon and New Forms of 36 Ghosts, as well as some masterful triptychs of kabuki theater actors and scenes. It was the then Chancellor and Grand Minister, Fujiwara no Tadahira, who walked quietly through the palace with a handsome profile. He was dressed in a luxurious jet black traditional formal court dress with karazuri technique. One night, when he was walking in front of the Emperor's room in the Imperial Palace, someone grabbed his sword from a gap in a bamboo blind. When he suddenly saw him, he saw an ogre. He quickly drew his sword and slashed the ogre with no haste. Then the ogre suddenly disappeared. During this period he also cooperated with his friend, the actor Ichikawa Danjiro, and others, in an attempt to preserve some of the traditional Japanese arts. In his last years, his mental problems started to recur. In early 1891 he invited friends to a gathering of artists that did not actually exist, but rather turned out to be a delusion. His physical condition also deteriorated, and his misfortune was compounded when all of his money was stolen. In a robbery of his home, after more symptoms, he was admitted to a mental hospital. He eventually left, in May 1892, but did not return home, instead renting rooms. He died three weeks later in a rented room, on June 9, 1892, from a cerebral hemorrhage. He was 53 years old. A stone memorial monument to Yoshitoshi was built in Mukojima Hiyakeian Garden, Tokyo, in 1898. holding back the night, with its increasing brilliance, the summer moon. Yoshitoshi was strict with his disciples, but at the same time he was very kind to them. Anticipating that the era of Western paintings was coming, he had many disciples apprentice to Western painters. As a result, many of his disciples have become successful. He was also a compassionate person who was easily moved to tears. And there is a story that he sobbed when he heard Sanyute Encho's human stories. Although he had big eyes, Hiyakata Kaburagi, who was a child at the time, thought that he was not scary. He loved lively festivals and was a good talker. It is well known that Yoshitoshi suffered from a nervous breakdown. So there is a general impression that he was sick. Even so, he continued to draw while on his sickbed. So that's all for today. If you liked the video, please push the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Bye.